guys it's Michelle and I got this sweet little baby and thought I'd do my Sunday morning chat with you guys and we had a really good day yesterday I took her out shopping with me we went to Savers and Marshalls and I got a really good reaction with her when we um, walked into Marshalls so that was really neat and she is just a really cute, very realistic looking baby. She is so cute. Look, at, I'll show you this little face. Let me take off your passy, sweetie. So she, to me, she looks very realistic, very newbornish. So she's a very cute little baby. And she's got lightly rooted, very micro hair just barely there let me show you her little eyebrows I don't know who her artist is but they did a beautiful job of painting her look at those little lashes just the perfect amount of lashes and she just looks very newbornish and I love this sculpt I um, don't know what the sculpt is but if anybody knows what sculpt she is please comment down below okay guys no fussing and here's her little hands they are just absolutely beautiful just barely tip nails oh, her artist did an amazing job on her and this baby came from Charlotte's nursery just very gorgeous Look at those hands. They're so realistic. They're beautiful. So anyways. So yeah, I had a really fun time. We went to La Cruces, New Mexico for um, my mom's birthday. So that was really fun. She is turning 79 years old on here soon so it was her birthday little outing and so she wanted to go to um, Olive Garden so that was really yummy and I brought some Olive Garden home I had the uh, like a fettuccine sauce and I learned the hard way I brought some food home and do not microwave it my daughter told me I should have heated it in the pan because I microwaved my leftovers because I was going to eat them and oh my gosh I guess they make a lot of butter in their food because it all turned to oil and it was I was just really sad <laughs> it's like oh there goes my leftovers because yeah so if you're on a diet don't eat anything with fettuccine, fettuccine or creamy sauce because oh my god not low fat at all but it was really, really, really yummy. So, that's so cute. Look at her. She looks so sweet with her passy. That's such a sweet little delicate baby. Yeah, so the, it was funny because the people, because I tried to film it as quickly as I could, but they thought I had literally just had a baby and was bringing her home. <laughs> that she was very brand new and she is a little petite thing so yeah she does look like a new baby and I got her dressed in this vintage dress so cute I love the vintage dresses on the babies and some pink ties and these pink booties and it just looks like something I would have dressed my daughter in or maybe even what I would have worn as a baby so so sweet my daughter was born in 1990 but you know I loved putting her in little dresses whenever I could unfortunately I had a lot of boy hand-me-downs so whenever I could dress her <laughs> you know in pink I took advantage of it because my first son was a boy and so I had a lot of neutral and baby clothes so you know, when you have a baby girl, you want to dress them up in pink and make them look as cute as possible. So I love the vintage baby dresses. They remind me of, you know, 
when I was little or my daughter was little. And so I crocheted this hat a while back, I think like maybe last year. So it fit her perfect. So I had a good day yesterday, still job hunting. So if I don't hear from the gentleman soon that I'm trying to get the job from, then I'm going to have to redo all my applications and try again. And ugh, I just want a job. It would be so nice to have a job and have some money and be able to go and buy what I want and when I see those cute things at the store. So I did get a couple things from the thrift store and I'll be sh doing a haul video here soon. I need to clean house today. I'm going to go over to my parents' house in about three hours and um, vacuum over there and help them out. And yeah, and then clean my house and I'm going to make a make dinner for my parents and then I got well and then bake a cake for my mom's birthday so that'll be yummy so I'm gonna make her a strawberry soda pop cake it's take you take like a white cake and bake it and then you poke holes in it and you pour pink s strawberry soda pop in it and it and then you'll put a Cool Whip on top and it makes a really yummy moist cake. So they've never had that. So I thought I would make that for her. And it's an easy cake to make and it's really yummy. And so yeah, that's what I'm up to. But yeah, hopefully... Here soon that we'll be able to go to Mexico and travel down there one of these days. There's a little border town that's really nice to visit. And yeah, so, oh, what? There is a wine tasting thing. There's a local winery and they're having a wine tasting festival next week. So I'm hoping to go to that. And that would be a lot of fun. See, the dogs are up to mischief. At least they're in a good mood today. So they're just... Anyway, so I don't want to drag this out too long for you guys. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to. And... This little cutie was a really big hit with those ladies. I th so if you haven't seen my reaction video, please check it out. Um, she is so cute. But look at that face, baby. Look at it, you're so cute. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And remember, you're never too old for dolls. Bye.